Okay. Simplify roots of negative numbers. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried this. Probably not. But if you have your calculator, and let's say we want to try to evaluate what the square root of negative 48 is, and we type in 48 negative, and then we type this, hit the square root button, and it'll say invalid input, right? And that's because there's no number that when multiplied by itself equals negative 48. Um, let's do a, even a simpler one, right? If I do like the square root of negative 4, there's no number. Remember what square root means. Square root means a number multiplied by itself equals negative 4. There is no number that when I multiply it by itself equals negative 4. You might be thinking, what about negative 2? Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And then you say, well, negative 2 and positive 2, that does equal negative 4, but that's not multiplying the same number by itself. It's multiplying two different numbers, a negative 2 and positive 2. So there is no number that multiplies to be negative 48. And you're thinking, okay, then I'm done, right? No, you're not. Uh, because back in the day, um, this is an Italian guy. I believe his name is Bombardi. I mean, you should look that up. It would be more interesting. Anyway, he formalized our imaginary numbers are, and he just said, well, what if there was a number that multiplied to be that? And what he came up with is, he came up with that the square root of negative 1. He's going to call that a constant number. He's going to call that i. So square root of negative 1 equals i. So if we have the square root of negative 48, that's the same thing as the square root of negative 1 times 48, which uh, I can then separate into square root of negative 1 times the square root of 48. And he said, well, the square root of negative 1 equals i, so I'm going to replace square root of negative 1 with i. So this would be i times the square root of 48. Now you might think that we're done, except we're not, because we need to simplify the 48 part. We need to simplify the 48 part, and we're going to do that by doing Mr. Pratt's patented jailbreak method of uh, simplifying square roots. So what we're going to do, we're going to break down this i times the square root of 48. We need to break down the 48 part. So 48 is 2 times 24, but 24 is 2 times um, 12, and 12 is 2 times 6, and 6 is 2 times 3. So the square root of 48 is the same thing as the square root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, and we still have an i out front because there's an i out front here. Uh, next, square root is like a prison. Numbers, just like people, don't want to be in prison, so sometimes they try to break out. Now, when they break out, they need partners to break out. Uh, so it takes two of numbers to break out. Now, the thing is, in prison, just like in number prison, there are gangs, right? So a two will not help a three to try to break out because he's part of a different gang, right? The, the skinheads do not talk to other non-skinheads. All right. So anyways, these two get together, and they're like, all right, we're going to try to break out. One of them actually makes it out, but one of them dies. Also, this second group try to break out. One of them makes it out. One of them dies. Uh, three does not have anybody to try to break out with, so it stays inside. Now, the thing I'm missing here, I have to remember to bring this I down, too. So it's 2 times 2 times I times the square root of 3. And I can simplify that to make that 4I times the square root of 3. So that's going to be my answer. So we'll type in here 4i uh, square root in Khan Academy, SQRT parentheses 3. And that puts in 4i square root of 3. And that's how I do that one. So on this one, we have square root of negative 66i. Now I, I do a shortcut kind of. I say, okay. We're going to, uh, instead of doing square root of six, negative 66 is square root of negative 1 times 66, I say we're just going to shoot an eye out. It's like Christmas Story. One of my favorite movies of all time, if you don't know, um, times 66. So the negative became this I and square root of 66. Then we need to break down 66. 66 is 2 times 33. Uh, 33 is 3 times 11. 11 doesn't break down. So this is what I would get when I done breaking it down. Um, 2 times 3 times 11. There are no pairs of things to break out with, right? The 2s doesn't have any other 2s to break out with. 3s, same. 
So I can't simplify it. So this just stays i times the square root of 66. So i square root 66. Boom. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know.